Hello, this is James George with Web Design Blog, and uh, this week I'm going to show you how to get started with Foundation 5. And uh, the, the cool thing about Foundation 5 is you can use it um, just about any way that you want. And you can download just the default CSS, you can customize Foundation, or you can use SAS. And so it just really depends on what you want to do. Uh, the great thing is, you know, it just works right out of the box. And so, look, I'm going to show you how to get started. And I'm just going to use the default CSS here. So you're going to click download, and you'll found, find it in your downloads. And uh, you double click the zip file. And then it will, you'll have the foundation uh, 5.0.2 folder. So I'm using MAMP and Dreamweaver as my little testing server. And so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and drag it to my HT docs. And I named it, uh, the project uh, that I'm uh, naming for you is called Silverback. And so then I'm going to link it up in Dreamweaver. And again, I just drug the, that folder over to htdocs and renamed it Silverback. And so, if you go into Dreamweaver and go to New Site, basically it's going to come up like this. And you can name your project, and then you can point to where the folder is. And so I just went to htdocs and clicked on Silverback and save. So now um, you're ready to work with Foundation and it's really easy because they include all the CSS that you'll need, all the JavaScript that you'll need, and there it is, all of your script files right inside of the JS and the Foundation folder. You have your abide, accordion, alert, drop down, joyride, all that stuff. It's included right inside of your project. And this is great because you're just able to uh, hit the ground running, so to speak. And so what you're going to want to do to get started is you're going to want to use your the index.html file that they included in the product uh, project folder. The reason being, everything is already loaded for you. You don't have to worry about loading anything. And so, it just makes it really easy. And what you're going to want to do is double click this, and it'll open up. And you can see it's got, um, it's got examples of everything, and I will preview this in the browser. And you can see that everything is already pre-laid out for you so you can get an idea of what things look like and it even includes uh, links to the foundation documents so that you can look at how things work and right here on the left hand side there's a setup guide getting started how to use the CSS the JavaScript components and how to uh, call things in JavaScript. You can uh, load each plugin individually or include foundation.min.js which automatically loads the foundation core and all JavaScript plugins. And so if you look see there's the foundation.min.js. If you look in the index file at the bottom is where you uh, want to include these files. You always want to load script files in your footer if possible. Java, uh, JavaScript slash foundation dot min dot js. So you already know that everything is already preloaded into this index dot html file. And so you can literally hit the ground running. And so I'll pop back over to our test document. You can see um, it shows you the the grid and how it works and 
and like you have six columns, six, it's based on a 12 column grid. And so you have six columns, six columns, four columns, four columns, you know, inputs, uh, input labels, select box, radios, everything. Uh, your alert buttons, your different, your rounded buttons, your radius buttons, everything. And so you can really get a, a taste of uh, what you can find inside of Foundation 5. So, for example, the, the top section is, it starts out as a row, which means it spans the entire width of the, the document. And then um, it's a large 12 columns, so that spans the entire row. And then you've got your H1 class, which will uh, take on the width of this one because it's inside of its container. And so I'll show you what I mean by that. If you inspect this, with Firebug, you can see large 12 columns. So the, the row, that's a row. If you want it to go the full width of your browser, then you, uh, um, you don't include a row. It would just be uh, large 12 columns, and it would just go from edge to edge. And so you can see that your H1 spans the, the full width because it was 12 columns. Now, if I go in here and just change that to 4, you can see that now it's, it's only uh, 4 columns wide. That's how easy it is to manipulate the grid inside of Foundation. Makes it so easy to use. And so you can do that with everything, and it just makes it really easy. And so you want to you wanna input label and just drop down to there. That's uh, that spends the full width of this container, the, the full 12 columns. But let's say that you didn't want it to do that. Let's say you only wanted it to go two thirds of the way. So you change that to eight, and perfect. I don't know how many times I've had to mess with input labels and trying to get them to look how they're supposed to look inside of other frameworks and using CSS and then something always happens with a float or some, something always causes a problem. Not with foundation. It's just simple. Wrap it inside the, uh, the uh, certain column grid and it's the width that you will expect every time. It's absolutely fantastic. And so, um, going through the docs and everything, um, it will show you how to set up everything. And so, let's say you want to include uh, navigation. We'll do top bar, and it even sh it even provides an example for you. And so you can take this and manipulate it. You don't even really have to know how to do it. And so, um, but you can learn. It's an it's a great way to learn. So you take this, and a list item has form. A row collapse, and, you know, you learn what all these are because you can see them inside of your document. It just makes it really easy. Very, very easy. So, like, for example, if you want to include this navigation, since the JavaScript is already included, let's just say I want that to go the full width of the document. So I'm just going to uh, place it outside of the, the row. And there it is. And now I'm going to go back to the test document and hit refresh. There it is, instantly. And so you can see 
how it works there's your top navigation for your entire website and you can go in and add your you can manipulate this however you'd like and so let's say you know this is called my site We'll change a couple of things here. I'm going to add a, another drop down. And I'm going to save it. And in just seconds, just seconds, I was able to alter this. There's Silverback, and when you drop down here, there's the link I added, second link and drop down. It's that easy. And there's a right navigation uh, active state on a button. There's so much you could do. You can include search forms inside of your navigation. It's just so easy. I think uh, that just about wraps it up for today. I'm going to continue the series on foundation and show you guys how to use foundation to quickly build websites that are awesome and responsive and look great on just about any device. I'm James George and this is Web Design Blog.